Okay, 7.5 properties of logarithms. At this point, you do not have a calculator, so the only three logs that we know are log base 2 of 6 is 2.585, log base 2 of 5 is 2.322, and log base 2 of 2 is 1. In the following properties, we have to also agree that B, N, and M are greater than 0, and B cannot equal 1. Okay, the product property. So log base b of m times n says that that is equivalent to log base b of m plus log base b of n. So I can split multiplication by adding. So for instance, if I had the example log base 2 of 30, using the above three logs that I know, I can change this to the log base 2 of 6 times 5, which would be log base 2 of 6 plus log base 2 of 5. And I know log base 2 of 6 is 2.585, and I know log base 2 of 5 is 2.322. So if I add those two together, I come up with 4.907. Okay, the next property we need to learn is called the quotient property, which says log base b of m divided by n, quotient is division, I can rewrite as log base b of m subtract log base b of n. So, let's look at this example. Log base 2 of 15. I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 30 divided by 2, which I know would be log base 2 of 30 minus log base 2 of 2. Well, in the previous example, we found out that log base 2 of 30 is 4.907. If I subtract 1, which is what log base 2 of 2 is, I get not 2, I get 3.907. And the last power property <clears throat> says the log of b to m squared is the same as saying log it's two times the log base b of m. So in essence all you're doing here is pulling this exponent out to the front of the log. <clears throat> so let's look at the example log base 2 of 4. I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 2 squared. So now I'm going to bring this exponent 2 out front, 2 times the log of base 2 of 2. Log base 2 of 2 is 1, so 2 times 1 gives me 2. So basically what I was doing on <clears throat> that previous page was expanding logs. So I'm going to take this, which has a combination of exponents and multiplication and division, and expand that. So this is going to be, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this. I'm going to split apart the division using the subtraction. So I'm going to get log base 7 of 3x squared subtract log base 7 of 2y. Now I'm going to expand the multiplications into additions. So I get log base 7 of 3. Remember I can separate things that are multiplied by addition. Log base 7 of x squared. Subtract. Now I have to be careful here because I'm subtracting two terms, right? So the subtraction is going to have to distribute to both. So I'm going to subtract the log base 7 of 2 plus log 
base 7 of y. Okay, because these are multiplied together, so they separate by addition. But I'm subtracting the whole thing because originally they were in the denominator being divided. Okay, now I'm going to deal with exponents. So there's no exponent here, log base 7 of 3, plus this little guy is going to come out in front, so 2 times the log base 7 of x. I'm going to distribute that negative, no exponents over here, and I have now expanded. So if you, in essence, if you look, I have the 3, the x squared, the 2, and the y. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces. Okay, pointing from underneath, one, two, three, four pieces. And if you look over at my final answer, I actually have one, two, three, four pieces, if you will. So I have expanded correctly. Okay, so now you try expanding. <clears throat> so um, pause your calcul pause your your playing of this video and try to do the first thing to get you started. The hint is we start with subtracting the division. So the division would split with subtraction. So this would become log base 2 of 21xy squared subtract log base 2 of 2z cubed. Okay, now I want to split multiplication. So first I'm going to split division. Now I'm going to split multiplication. So these three are multiplied together, so I'm going to split them. And they are expanded by adding them together. Now I'm going to split these two things for multiplying, but remember I've got to leave them in the parentheses, so this is going to be log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of z cubed. Okay, the last thing I do is now do my exponents. So these exponents are going to come out. So I'm going to have log base 2 of 21 plus log base 2 of x plus 2 log base 2 of y. This negative is going to distribute in oops, to these two terms. So minus log base 2 of 2 minus, and this exponent is going to come out to the front. So I'm going to have the 3 out front with that log base 2 of z. And I have now expanded. So now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to condense. And you can see here I have 1, 2, 3, 4 word logs. So I have 4 kind of pieces of a log, and I'm going to bring them all back into one log. Also notice there's no base. When there's no base of a log, it's assumed to be 10, and I don't need to write it. So the first thing I do is I bring in the exponents. So this first one, log 3, doesn't have an exponent. But this second one, this actually comes in to be the exponent. Of course, I say to do it, but I don't do it. Log 4 squared. Now. In this next part, I'm actually, I want you to notice that these have a negative, and I'm going to factor that negative out. And inside, I'm going to get log 5, because there's no exponent, plus, okay, so negative times the negative here will give me a positive. 
Okay, positive times the negative gives me my negative. This little 3 is going to come in here as the exponent. Now I know addition is pulled together by multiplication. So I'm going to multiply these two together, and I'm going to multiply these two together. I get log 3 times 4 squared is 16 times 3, which is 48. So this is log of 48 minus, and inside this is log 5 times y cubed stays 5y cubed. Now I know this little guy right here, subtraction, is when I'm condensing, so going opposite is division. So I'm going to take log and divide 48 by 5y cubed. And I have now condensed it from four pieces into one log. Okay, so now try expansion on your own. Pause first step. And we're going to go opposite when we expand. So the first step we do is bring our exponents in. So these guys come in. So pause and see how far you can get. This becomes log base 5 of 6 squared plus log base 5 of x to the fourth. Okay, now don't forget, if there's a negative in front here and here, I'm going to factor a negative out of those two terms. So that negative 1 is going to come out, and I'm going to have log base 5 of 3 plus log base 5 of y squared. Now I'm going to... Um, pull in my multiplication. So I'm going to do that next. So these guys, since they're added together, can condense using multiplication. So log base 5, 6 squared times x to the fourth minus log, oops, base 5 of 3 times y squared. Now I'm going to do division, so I'll look at what I'm doing. I'm going the opposite direction, then expanding. To condense, I start with exponents. So now division, because I'm subtracting here, these would condense log base 5 of 36 x to the fourth over 3y squared. And I'm just going to simplify this right here. So that's going to be log base 5 of 12x squared over y squared. This last formula is kind of obsolete since our calculators through alpha window can actually give us a log, log base c of a. But what change of base formula did was help when our calculators can only do log base 10, just the plain old log, to change it into something that was doable on a calculator. So I want you to imagine that this A is on top and the C is a little bit below. The change of base formula says I can take log base 10 of A and divide by log base 10 of C and I will get log base C of A. So in other words, if I have log base 7 of 2, I can take log, the 2 is higher, so the log base 10 of 2 goes on top. This 2 is higher, the 7 is actually low, so it goes on the bottom, log base 7.